welcome to Monetize Your Mind with your host, Bob Baer, creator of the More Power to Publish Monetize Your Mind Workshop. And welcome to Monetize Your Mind. I'm Pat Dewar. I'm usually the host of the Business Spotlight, but this week we want to give you a, a special edition of, well, how to make uh, creativity um, earn you some extra money. Because Monetize Your Mind is about bringing the gifts, tools, uh, things that will help you, uh, what I'll call pluck from air, <laughs> PFA, the uh, extra revenue for you. Because all of us have wealth between our ears. We just need to pull it out. Today, we've got Bob Bear. Bob is the, an accomplished entrepreneur. He has had several very successful businesses. He's a published author and now has even a publishing company. Bob, is the host of the show, thanks so much for, for doing this. Thank you for being here with me, Patrick. It's my pleasure. And I know that a lot of the uh, design of Monetize Your Mind is to create extra wealth for the listeners, the viewers, people that are trying to, um, what I'll say, create a legacy mm -hmm. or maybe even take their, their, um, their gifting and bring it to the marketplace. And you have tools to help them monetize that. You know, Patrick, on the way over here to the studio, I was thinking about a story that I really want to share. Sure. It made a big impact on me. When I was young, I used to listen to someone named Earl Nightingale. Many times. And he used to tell a story about a speaker, writer named um, Russell Conway, I believe. That's right. Russell Conwell. Conwell. Yeah. Now, Russell Conwell, millennials that are watching may wonder now, why would I be telling a story about somebody that was born in 1843 really? <laughs> and he died in 1925? Really, an old dead dude, you know? <laughs> yeah, old dead dude. The, the baby boomers like me will, will understand that there's really some valuable things to be learned from the past. Russell Conwell told a story called Acres of Diamonds that really relates to what we're going to talk about today, monetizing your mind. And in this story, this was actually a speech that Russell Conwell gave like 6,000 times. He turned it into a book. He used it as a fundraiser to found a, coll a college. I believe it was Princeton in Philadelphia. But anyway, Russell Conwell told this story called Acres of Diamonds. And in the story, he told about a man who lived in South Africa who was a farmer. And this farmer had dreams of becoming wealthy. He wanted wealth. And he heard all these great stories about people discovering gold nuggets and diamonds. And he said, man, I would really love to have a diamond mine. If I could find diamonds, that would be so much better than being a farmer. So he sold his farm and he left, took off searching the world, died in poverty, died broke. In the meantime... The guy that bought his farm was out walking one day, and he saw something glinting by the edge of the stream, and it turned out to be a diamond in the rough. And it turned out that one of the largest diamond mines in South Africa was on the farm that this guy sold. And the point that Russell Conwell made in Acres of Diamonds was that we all have acres of diamonds in our own backyard. And I want to narrow that down even more, not in our own backyard. We all have a fortune between our ears. And so many people are looking for a guru, looking for someone telling them what they should do without realizing the value they have themselves. And so what we're going to be talking about the next few weeks today and, and the next few programs is about how to get that value out of your mind, how to get the intellectual property that you have in your mind and monetize it and turn it into a stream of income. Well, I know that one of the things that you're exceptionally good at is breaking down a complex idea into its components. So it's a little bit like taking the puzzle back apart and saying, here are the parts, and then bringing them together and showing people how to put the puzzle together in a way that makes a lot of sense. And I know that we'll have slides that actually you know, you can get them. I, I know people could email you sure. and, uh, you know, go to your website, morepowertopublish.com, mm -hmm. and they can get some information about that. If you were to sit there and say, you know, the four basic concepts that we want to cover during these shows of, of Monetize Your Mind, those would end up being what? 
Well, the first one is understanding what the value you have in your mind is. It's more, and we'll talk about this in the next segment, but it's more than just your knowledge. There is a lot of value that each person gains through their experience and their lifetime that we'll talk about. And then you can take that value and use it to create content. I mean, the world is really hungry for content. Mm -hmm. On the internet, it's easy. You can build a website, but unless you have content in that website, it's really rather useless. So how do you take what you have, how do you take the intellectual property that you have in your mind and turn it into content that the world wants? And then how do you take that content, the third section, and begin to repurpose it in various ways, reuse it in ways that will be effective and ways that people will want? And we'll talk about that. So that's creating your content. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, right? And so they, they'll show that. Very good. And then the next thing is? The next thing we'll give an overview of one of the workshops we have coming up, More Power to Publish, is actually teaching people methods and systems of taking content and monetizing it. And awesome. we'll, we'll get into that and explain that a little bit. Well, one of the things, we'll also be showing a couple of other slides that talk about the repurposing and then even the More Power to Publish. This is monetizing your mind. It's a gift today for the, the viewers. You know, hopefully you're seeing it either in Houston or DFW. More, more <laughs> monetizing your mind. This is Pat Dewar. We'll be right back. You can become a published author. Discover a system that will lead you from idea to having your book on the bookshelves. Bob Bear pulls back the curtain at the More Power to Publish workshop. Watch and learn how to follow the step-by-step -step plan to turn your idea into a published book. Learn more at morepowertopublish.com.